Hey y'all, welcome back. It's another one of those Talking Heads videos that I'm doing and uh, this time I'm going to do a video on a fragrance that I'm pretty sure everybody has done except for me. So why shouldn't I get in on it as well? And I did see a really good midwit meme. I don't know if you're familiar with the midwit meme. Uh, I'll show it on the screen. I'm not going to explain the midwit meme because I probably am a mid too midwitty. Not witty enough, but very mid to not be able to explain it properly. That's a good way of getting out of this. Good. I'm just going to show the picture on the screen and let you understand because that's what the meme is supposed to do. You're not supposed to explain a meme. That's not what it's all about. You're supposed to look at it and go, aha, I understand. Good. Now, I've been getting decants of Aventus for a long time. I have not had a bottle for ages, as a matter of fact. And I thought, I think now is a good time to actually get back into the old event high and see what's going on. Because the realization that, you know, you're going to get some old batch that you're going to pay heaps of money for, or you're going to just buy whatever's out there right now and wear it and enjoy it. And even if you keep it around for a few years, it will eventually get better as most of the formulations that have come before it have they have matured very well a lot of them have done very well for being kept about three years somehow they all end up getting better who knew so it wasn't too long ago that i bought a full bottle a 100 ml bottle of aventus and this this is one of those f batch aventuses and this smells pretty good it smells pretty decent it's not so dark and smoky. It's not even very citric or sharp or anything like that. It's it's right in the middle at the moment. And I think with time, if it lasts, because this was full when I got it, and it's just so bloody easy to wear, and it's just so good. Even in its current form, it's actually still very good. It's just a damn good scent. I can see why... They call it the king. Yes, for 14 years now, people have been going off about how good this is. It's because it's good. When I wear it, people ask me what I'm wearing. N not, not just men either. So it, 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 it does the job for those people who want to get noticed. But again, it's just a damn good smell. I didn't want to go batch hunting or anything, but... The fact of the matter is an opportunity came up to purchase a not really a vintage but a semi vintage uh, this is a 2017 it's a 50 ml it, you, it was a lot fuller than it is now and this one i would consider a summertime aventus because it's feels like it's a lot more fruity and a lot more citruses like that but there's bergamot more present in in the opening and, and for a fresh version of Aventus, it actually lasts <clears throat> for a considerable amount of time. Really well, as a matter of fact. I did also have a few decants that I went through of this guy, which is Aventus uh, Absolute, right there. And this I really like as well. I think it's a really well done scent. I think it's... I think it's apt for modern times. And I think if you're buying retail, you should just stop um, unless you're getting a, a good deal or if it goes on sale or something like that. Yes, I do think it's a bit overpriced for the 75 ml. I wonder what this would actually develop into uh, in, in a few years time when it's you know had some time to actually develop in the bottle and mature in the bottle. This one I like as well, but today's video, I don't want to talk about this even in today's video because like as much as I like this one the uh, Aventus Absolute which I think I might actually pick up a bottle of this as well um, for the coming sort of colder season uh, it feels like it's a little bit more warmer the sweetness sort of gives it a little bit of the of the warmth um, but but the one that I actually got caught by surprise as a matter of fact is this one here, Aventus Cologne, <laughs> Aventus Colon, Aventus Colon, and this is 
Let's just see where this one's from. This is well, this is a new one, right? This is one of the this is one of the F batch ones. This came out, I think, 2019. Uh, but this is a new one. And like it says it says cologne, but it's actually an eau de parfum, but it wears like a cologne. It's it's really fresh up top. And they've kind of switched the pineapple for mandarin, which I really like. And I feel like there's birch in here, even though I don't think there's birch in the note listings. Is there birch in the note listings? There is, there's birch in the base. And I feel like it is quite birch heavy, as a matter of fact. Um, I think I like this almost as much as I like the 2017 and almost as much as I like the 2012. So, which I'll probably never see ever again or smell ever again, but this'll do. Like it's the longevity is not as great and I've worn it a few times already in the warm weather as well. But I think on clothes, if you spray it on clothes, it actually lasts until like the next day and you can smell the dry down and it's got that really nice Aventus dry down, which is, which is really cool. And I really like that about this. I really love the fact that it's Aventus. It's a little bit different, but then it dries down to typical Aventus, which is the good, the good stuff. So I really like that. And yeah, I've gone down the path of Aventus. So now I'm becoming, uh, slowly becoming an Aventus head, not like a crazy batch hunting Aventus head, you know, but um, kind of getting there. I really appreciate it. I'm, I always have. And as many clones that come out, I, I still don't think that if you've spent enough time with actual Aventus that you could hand on heart say that any of the clones would replace it. Like if money was no object to you, you would not get a clone over Aventus unless you liked that clone because it was more in 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 line with your taste you wouldn't you wouldn't say it's better than aventus and all of the other things that get compared to it just because they have a similar note like someone was telling me like you know nishane's hachivat that was like an event that's not an aventus clone they hardly smell anything alike, okay? Just maybe in the fleeting moment in the opening or something like that, but they don't really smell anywhere near the same. So, yeah, it's it's like that effect of everything has got to get compared to it, even if there's some similarity to it. That's I think it should wear that as a as a badge of honor. That's me with my aventi, aventuses, aventi. That's what we call them, because if there's more than one, it is aventi. All right, that's it. That's my little mini breakdown of Aventus or the or the Aventi is what I like to call it. And uh, yeah, as always, uh, thanks for watching. And like, you know, if you want to chat to me about your experiences with different batches, I'm happy to hear it. You know, just chuck it in the comments. I'm, I'm always good to, to have a little conversation down there. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. If you haven't subscribed already, please. You tell two friends and they tell two and so on and so on. As always, thanks for watching.